there's gonna be a huge, huge snowstorm today, I think. Isn't that right, Brambles? Isn't that right, Bramblies? Look at him, so comfy. How can this kitty be so, so comfy? We have another kitty here. Come here, Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a science fiction and fantasy writer. I have a short story now available for you to read. I'll link it down below. And I'm also the online editor for Augur Magazine. Welcome back to my channel. Today is January 25th. I believe we are three days into my non-writing sprint, my non-writing period. If you guys missed my last vlog, I told you guys my new writing process, which is I write for two weeks at a time and then I take a two week break. During this two week break, I just pretty much read a lot and I use this two week period to like recharge so I don't burn myself out. I feel like when I explained this last time, it wasn't very clear. Like I, it, there are so many reasons why this has been important. The biggest is that I have like a full time job, but this break is just, it's gonna be good for my mental health because I'm already starting to feel super anxious. So even though it's my break week, well, it's just the third day, I'm like really, really itching to write. And I don't think this is coming from a place of inspiration. I think I'm just super anxious. And I keep looking outside because the snow just like increased tenfold. It's super snowy outside. Uh, what am I saying? What am I talking about? I will be writing during this period though because I just randomly, I randomly found a call for flash fiction and the theme is candy floss pink and pink is my favorite color so I feel like it would be like a dishonor to myself if I didn't try to submit. It's also a flash so it's under a thousand words. I feel like I can totally do this so I'm going to, well I'm not going to, I already wrote a draft. It's hard to tell with these like shorter pieces because I kind of just edit and edit and edit. I will have to write either today or tomorrow. I'm thinking both days. I think today I'm going to make sure the structure is good. The story is around like 850 words right now or 900 and I think that's still a little bit too much. The max word count is 1000 but I think this story would actually benefit from less words. I think I just got really into like the world building or something so I want to like wrap that up today and also do a line edit and tomorrow I just want to read through the whole piece and send it to my critique partner she has a whole weekend to work on it which is good because I do want a break from writing like because I get into this like obsessive I can't stop I'm anxious about writing like this break is really good for me so yeah I do want to like capitalize that's the bad word I did I just want to take advantage of my two weeks off writing but I also really want to edit Euphoria. I was thinking about Euphoria a lot yesterday. Euphoria is my adult sci-fi novel. It's my first book that I had ever written to completion. I had this idea since I was 15, so the story is very precious to me. And I was thinking about it and I realized that I want to work on draft three. That's my work computer going off because I'm filming doing work hours because I'm so anxious, like I feel like I'm a sitting duck at work sometimes and I'm not getting the things I want to get done, but this is a little bit irrelevant. Um, I was thinking that I could send Act 1 to my critique partner for sure by the end of this year if I wanted to. Act 1 of Euphoria is pretty sound. I think I just need to do like a, a line edit, but everything should be okay to send structurally. Act 1 is the easiest. Actually, Act 1 didn't really change much from the original Zero Draft, which is surprising. I just like rewrote a couple of scenes, um, so I like I kind of want to do that. There's just like so many books to write. I want to write Mia. I think I'm really writing the momentum and I started using Chris's dialogue first approach for some of the scenes. If you didn't watch her video, I'll link it down below. She mentioned in her video that she thinks this might not always work out if you're a pantser, but I actually think it works out if you are a pantser as well because you kind of just like write the dialogue first, you write the little bit first and then you add on, you add on. Hello! It's the same day I just changed because I was getting really cold and that shirt I was wearing was a crop sweater from Shein, so... Why am I saying this? I was watching one of Katie Wismer's old videos and I kind of want to update my pacemaker planner for Mia 
pacemaker planner is kind of like a writing tool um, where you can track how many words you write. I'm not really going to hardcore track my words. I am too weak for workout goals, but I think it'd be nice just to like see how much I get done just to see the trajectory. So maybe we can do that right now. Oh my goodness. Look at these stats. I set a goal for 86 and I started in June. My deadline is end of February, which is definitely not happening. And I had only written 33,000 words, so maybe I can just update this like right now. Also, I don't know if you can see Mr. Brambles. I got him these like little brushes. No, I didn't get him these. What am I saying? My friend Steffi, thank you Steffi, got me these like brushes and I just- <gasps> My goodness, he is so cute and we just put it on the table so he can rub himself. Those are my boxes of recyclable stuff, so sorry it's in the way of his cuteness. Oh my god! Oh, what an orange cat! What an orange cat! Seriously? So I'm just gonna update it here, I think. Thanks. Gonna jump up so much. <laughs> 25 words. Look at that. Okay, save progress. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, look how long I've been writing Mia. Okay, like I really legit started June of last year. Even though I wrote the zero draft in 2021, I will finish this by April. It's crazy cold today. There's an extreme warning. It says it'll go down to minus 30, so we are definitely not leaving the house today. Yep. How is Mr. Brambles doing? He went to the vet yesterday. He was so bad. I kind of wanted to film him, but I think that would have been rude because the ladies there were fighting their lives to wrestle him down. Can you imagine three ladies holding down this little kitty? Cool baby. Not to be forgotten. Oh man, I need to wipe this table. Oh my goodness. Come me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Does anyone remember my old videos where I used to sit on the floor? So, I kind of am in a horrible, horrible mood right now. Um, so I got rejected from Apex already, which I'm really grateful that their turnaround time is actually really fast. I think that makes them like super reliable. Anyway, I got rejected and this is the first time that I felt so dejected <clears throat> My voice I'm gonna go see a doctor next Wednesday because I think I have some asthma stuff going on, but I Just feel really bad and I was feeling bad since yesterday even though I got the rejection today yesterday I was like freaking out I was messaging my critique partner and I was telling my boyfriend I was just like I don't think the story was good I don't think it was good and I sent it when it was bad and I think with me I feel like I rushed it and I always say I'm never rushing anything and I'm always saying I'm gonna be intentional with the things I'm doing but I really felt like I rushed this because from the ideation to submission was only like a week and a half and I don't think that's good for me I don't think I work like that and I don't know I think I need more feedback on the story too so I might send it to others but I don't know I'm just I, I feel like I think the reason why I'm taking this a lot harder than normal is because I thought I wrote, like, I thought I knew how to write short fiction. Oh, my cat's using a litter box. Dude, I can never film. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm, like, gonna lose my cool on the internet one day. Um, it's fine. I just need to, I don't know, probably eat. Maybe I'm hangry. But, yeah, I think the reason why I'm taking this so hard is because I thought I knew how to write, like, short fiction because, like, when I mean short, I mean, like, less than a thousand words because my story got published and it was, like, it was a 100 word story and there's a part of me that thinks that that was my peak and I can never write something that's publishable again and a part of me thinks that it was a fluke not a part of me, I really think it's a fluke and I probably 
just my craft isn't there enough like if I can only publish 100 word stories I just don't have the skills to like write more than 100 I'm just think I'm just thinking about the story I think I need some time away I think that's the thing with me and why I think writing is very hard um, it's not because like the actual writing like I feel like I can get the words out pretty fast if I wanted to but I need to have some time away from the story so I can keep thinking about it. If, does that make sense to you? Here, I'll give you an example. And this happens all the time in my like reading videos or whenever I review a book or even a movie. Sometimes I'll say that, oh, this book was so good. And then let's say three months down the line, I completely forgot about it. So by the end of the year, that book's not even on my best books because it left my mind. Like sometimes I don't really know how I feel about something until I take a lot of like take a step back or take a lot of time away from it so I feel like maybe with this story because I like wrote it and put it together within like a week this week was supposed to be my break week so I sacrificed like break time and reading time to write this stupid story that didn't go anywhere and I don't know if this was a form rejection so I'll put the rejection up on the screen because I don't mind sharing that but if it's not a form rejection like I don't if it, it felt it didn't feel like a form rejection as I'm trying to say but maybe it was and I think what's most disheartening about this is that I got the response in like two days so I knew I was gonna find out soon so yesterday when I was like freaking out <laughs> I almost withdrew my submission because I was just not feeling confident at all I never have felt this level of like not confidence when I submitted a piece and usually when I do get rejections I'm usually smiling like I got rejected I think two or three times now um, and I was always smiling because it's it's usually fun so I don't know why I'm taking this one so so close to heart I want to edit it again I want to submit it somewhere else maybe I don't know I heard a lot of magazines don't take like rejected pieces from other places especially if it's like a theme so because this theme is like cotton candy pink if I submit it to another magazine and they're like in the industry and the editors are in the industry I'm sure they would know that this was like a rejected piece oh shit sorry I forgot to say oh my god so this was a contest and I also didn't find out this was this was a contest until like way later until like maybe two or three days before i submitted the piece so uh, i just knew it was game over by the time i found out it was a contest just being a creator in general not just writing now it's it's quite tough i watched the menu recently the one with anya taylor joy who i love and voldemort what's his name again ralph something that was really good i really enjoyed the movie and I think that movie was a good reminder for me too to you have to love what you're doing and that's the main thing you have to love what you're doing and you have to like kind of ignore everyone else almost um, even though as a creator there's always like an end person right so it's hard to not do something for that end user sometimes it's hard to not feel sad if the end user doesn't like something but what you should be focused on is how you feel about it and the passion it brings you but again the movie does a really good job at tackling that because once you turn your hobby into like something that's monetized and becomes work I'm sure and of course the movie does showcase that side anyway I had several things I wanted to say as well but maybe I should like <laughs> put myself in a better mood before I expose myself on YouTube Two for five dollars. We got black, green, and red. Two items, five dollars.